Welcome back. Miami Beach Pride Week is well underway, and this year's theme is no, no place like home. This comes as many still feel unsettled by the recently signed HB 1557 law, dubbed the Don't Say Gay Bill. But organizers say there's still a lot to celebrate and stand for. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn has more. The stage is being set for Miami Beach's annual Pride event. The spirits already on display, but the message this year is a little different because of this. It's about protecting parents' ability to be involved. Through the passage of HB 1557, which broadly bans discussions about sexual orientation and gender identity from kindergarten through third grade, some in the LGBTQ plus community may feel as though they've been dealt a setback. I do think that we, we worry about a lot of those feelings of shame and, in, you know, especially that are harbored while you're in the closet and struggling. Patrick Jeeves helps to run Miami Beach Pride today, but he was once a young kid who didn't know if he should come out. The hopes are very high. You know, I think we are a resilient community. Jeeves wants this year's event to steer important conversations leading up to the festival and parade this weekend. One panel discussion on social justice, health and wellness happens at the Art Deco Museum Wednesday night. The don't say gay law will likely be a big topic. And it was right here in Miami where there, the, the, the pride marches were targeted by um, early members of groups that became like family, quote unquote, family values groups. Claire Westlotty Porter is a professor of gender and sexuality studies at the University of Miami. She's helping with the panel. So, so Florida certainly has that pass, but part of the reason it has that pass and Miami-Dade in particular is because we've had a vibrant queer scene. And there's still work to be done towards inclusion, but there is also still quite a bit to celebrate. The greater acceptance and visibility we see is because of the hard work um, that um, LGBTQ communities have been to make that happen. And this is the festival's 14th year. We have a number of the events coming up listed at CBSMiami.com. In Miami Beach, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.